Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is kind of my official move-in vlog. I didn't record when the movers came and moved my stuff from one apartment to the other because it took six hours. They damaged some of my furniture and it overall was a pretty stressful experience. I cried and I just, I didn't feel like vlogging. So now that I am somewhat settled in, I still have a ton of boxes behind me. Things are not really where they're supposed to be. Um, I thought today we could do some of that together, um, some organizing and just overall show you what the place looks like with my stuff in it because it definitely looks slightly more homey. Here is an update on the kitchen. As you can tell, I finally got the little cart to replace this missing section of cabinet. It is from Wayfair and I don't typically shop on there, but it is the exact dimensions of my kitchen and seriously is perfect. I have all my cookbooks down here, some bolt goods, and then I put my cutting boards in here and my appliance is on top and I honestly love it. I think I'm probably going to do most of my what I eat in a day filming on this surface because I just, I like the look of the butcher block counters the most. And I've also filled up all of my cabinets, obviously. This place has more storage than anywhere I've ever lived and it's all for me, which is like so surreal. I also went to Ikea just for some basics and found this cutting board for just $20. It is so heavy duty and beautiful. Highly recommend if you're looking for like a solid chopping block. I haven't decided where I want to put all of my spices yet because they used to be in like a huge pull out drawer, but a lot of the drawers here are pretty like rickety. I've seen some people do like a little staircase and like kind of stack them. So maybe I'll do something like that, but I just, I have so many cabinets. I don't know like which one to put it in. Then I just have my little fruit bowl, which is from Crate and Barrel. I really love it. It's like nice and spacious. Up here in the built-in, I put all of my mugs, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep them here just because there is so much dead space that I could put things that are taller in there. I just haven't quite decided, so that's it for now. Now into the living room, my dining table is centered right here under the lamp, and I think it looks really good. It surprisingly just doesn't take up that much space. And then my living room still has quite a few boxes and packed up art. My TV is on the ground. I think I'm gonna wall mount it. I do kind of have enough space to get a media console. I've had a lot of people ask me about this rug. I got it secondhand on OfferUp. And this cart is actually going to go right here at the entryway. This is a bar cart from Sunbeam Vintage and I truly just love the look of it. It's so like modern and interesting. Obviously this isn't completely styled, but I think this placement works really well with the living room. I wanna get some colored vintage glassware to put in here. I think that that would look so awesome. Here's my bedroom. My mattress is currently on the floor because I am waiting for a bed frame to come in the mail and I still have some boxes on the ground, but I think this is the wall I'm keeping my bed on. I haven't quite decided. I did end up finding a mid-century dresser on Facebook Marketplace. So this is it. It's originally from Living Spaces and it actually has a mirror that's detachable that's currently in the living room. So I am debating putting it up or not. Oh, hi, Sammy. Here is the mirror in question back there. It's definitely not gonna stay here. It's either going above my dresser or into storage in my parents' garage. But I think it's just so unique that I do think I wanna put it up. And then here's my desk, obviously surrounded by boxes. This chair is being sold on Facebook Marketplace because I just don't really, I don't know, it doesn't spark joy for me anymore and I don't have the space for it. And that pretty much covers it for the updates. It is now breakfast time for the both of us. My internet just decided to go out and I was about to sit here and do some emails and, you know, figure out what else I need to order for this apartment, like some drapes for these windows. 
but we can't really do that right now because of the internet. Uh, they're supposed to call me back, but what I do have is a box full of smaller boxes of PR stuff that I got sent during my move. So now to actually open them, see what's inside, share them with you. I'm so excited about this. This first thing is from Note or Nate Jewelry. That is how the brand is spelled down there. And they have just like the most beautiful like glass beaded necklaces and earrings. I have quite a few pieces already. We have this beautiful pair. Love these. Oh my God, these are everything. Little dangly pearls. I also love that their earrings are actually like removable so you can just wear the hoops if you want to as well. I love a dangle. I don't really own any dangly earrings. I'm into it. And then to go along with the pearl theme, we have this heart necklace with a little gem in it. So cute. All of their jewelry is like so high quality. I absolutely love them. So definitely check them out. Next up, I have something from Necessaire. I believe that this is their shampoo and conditioner because they are expanding their line and I already love their body wash and lotion, all of their other body products. Fragrance-free shampoo and conditioner. This one I actually already took out of the box, but I was so excited I had to show you guys. It is a new nail polish color from J. Hanna, which is seriously my favorite indie nail polish brand. They just have like the most interesting colors that are kind of like traditionally ugly colors, but they make them work. This is their new shade, which is called Compost, and it's just like a muddy green. Once it is fall, I will absolutely be wearing this. I threw these products into a different box that I had at my house already. These are all from Well People. They gave me a really solid stock up on makeup, which I appreciate so much. Favorite product from them has to be their brow gel. I think it is better than Boy Brow and like every other brow gel I've tried. And the last box here is from Coco Kind. They were kind enough to send me refills on my favorite products and I'm actually working with them pretty soon. Some of my favorite things from them are the rose water toner and their sunscreen. Daily SPF, SPF 32. In general, though, their products are like all cruelty-free, vegan, and just like gentle, good for the planet in sustainable packaging. I have been eating takeout for the past three days because of moving and not having any food. So this will hopefully be my last takeout meal for a while. I seriously just need to get groceries and eat in for like two months. Now that my internet is on, I am doing a bit of online shopping for some things that I need. I'll just do a little screen recording so you can see what I'm buying, as opposed to me pointing my camera at the screen. I'm going to buy some drapes for my living room. This is the cute little outdoor balcony table that I'm getting, just very basic. I wanted to feel like I'm at a cafe. I'm also getting this little white utility cart for underneath my desk because I had more storage underneath my other desk and this desk is a little bit more style over function so I'm gonna get that little cart to put all of like my office supplies in and you know maybe some tech stuff as well um, but not in an ugly way later tonight I am going to a clothing swap at my friend Kelly's and we're basically all bringing clothes from our closets that we no longer want and just kind of like buying, swapping, selling all of our stuff with each other. And I'm so excited about it because I do truly have so much stuff that doesn't fit, but I thought I would get some of my little errands done first. Sammy and I are on our way to the clothing swap. I am so excited to see all of my friends and I'm honestly probably gonna end up eating dinner over there or like getting some food to go because I still don't have groceries. Here is some of the clothing swap. I just got back from the clothing swap. I got two pieces of clothing that I will show you and I got rid of pretty much everything that I brought, which is just fantastic. I just don't have the space and I just gave it away because I was like, please 
take my clothes. I just placed two orders for groceries on Instacart. I believe I have like a discount link everyone does that uses it, so I'll leave that below. But I placed one for a health food store for like the gluten-free and vegan items I wanted. And then one just at like a basic grocery store that actually was having a lot of sales. So I got like a ton of frozen food and like other random like specific stuff that I wanted. So I'll show you guys the haul once it arrives. But in the meantime, I wanted to organize these drawers because they're a mess. Um, I haven't really unpacked and I have this stuff that you put in the bottom of your drawers to kind of like keep everything from sliding around. So that's what I'm gonna do right now in the meantime. My order from Instacart just came here. I got some smoky bacon tempeh. These gluten-free tortillas are my favorite. Cedars garlic hummus, also my favorite brand of hummus if I'm not gonna make it myself. These are my current favorite kombuchas. They both have passion fruit, so I guess that's just like what I'm into lately. I also have some vegan feta crumbles, mushrooms, romaine, carrots, obviously, and then some gluten-free bread. I got everything bagels and seven grain gluten-free bread, which like kind of feels like a rock. So I'm probably just gonna put these straight in the freezer and just like toast them when I need to. I also just got some easy frozen food so I don't end up ordering out if I'm running low on groceries. This is a vegan and gluten-free lasagna from Amy's. These are amazing, not gonna lie, and they were on sale. I also got the California veggie burgers from Dr. Prager's and this is a new one for me, but I do like black bean burgers, so I thought I would try it out. So there you have it. Also got some produce, which is currently in my fruit bowl. I usually go and pick up my groceries in person, but I find when I order them, I never over purchase. I buy like exactly what I need because I have to plan ahead. And so I did kind of plan the meals that I'm gonna eat this week. I did also want to do a what I eat in a week. So I kind of kept that in mind to do like different recipes or things I haven't tried. So I know that I want to make a tempeh BLT with like tempeh bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Um, I wanted to try making a pasta salad, a vegan Crunchwrap Supreme, because I've literally never had a Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme, but every time I see one, I'm like, I wanna eat that. It looks so good. Like the shape, I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna try and make that. So that's why I bought refried beans and stuff. It is the next morning and today I have quite a lot more moving related tasks to do so I'm probably just going to start another vlog since this one is already pretty long but I wanted to give a thank you to the sponsor of today's video which is Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create and host a beautiful online presence for either you or your business. I've been using Squarespace for years to host my website that showcases my graphic design work and basically is just an online portfolio for me as a person. And I really love how intuitive Squarespace is when it comes to making websites. They have thousands of templates to choose from that are completely customizable to your branding, your liking, your business, whatever you really have in mind for your website. They also offer custom domains. So I was able to get lindsayrum.com, which just makes my life so much easier as far as continuity goes. And something new for me was adding in the blog feature. So it is built into my website. I can schedule and draft posts to go live whenever I want them to and have them push to social media and it can increase SEO. And it just is a really fun way to, you know, have another outlet for me creatively. I really believe that everyone can benefit from having a beautiful online presence and website, whether you are looking for new jobs or you are launching a business. Squarespace is the way to go. It is just so easy and intuitive. I recommend it to everyone that I know and they all pretty much use it and love it. So if you are interested in trying out Squarespace, use my code LindsayRem or go to squarespace.com slash LindsayRem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And that is it for today's vlog because I have so much more moving in to do and I think I'm going to be hanging up my TV today with my dad. So stay tuned for those updates, but I really appreciate your love and support over this move. Everyone has been so excited with me and so supportive and I really wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys and what I do. So it just really warms my heart. I love you guys and I will see you with some new content very soon. Bye.